Ho, 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 ho. Hello, Amber. Good evening, Mr. Teddy. How are you? I am fine, son. So, how come you are here today? My exams are over and Max and I decided to have dinner at his place. Just came along to collect a few things. Oh, that's good. So, what would you like to buy? Some cakes, chocolates or chips? I think I shall buy some cupcakes and some fruit juices. We love your delicious cupcakes, Mr. Teddy. Oh, thanks, Amber. You can choose any flavor that you like. There is chocolate, strawberry, lemon and vanilla. Hey, Mr. Teddy, these cupcakes are so neatly displayed. They look so nice. Amber, they not only look nice, but also help me to keep a proper count of things. How do you do that, Mr. Teddy? Arranging the objects in a particular manner makes counting easier, Amber. For example, look at these cupcakes. They have been arranged according to their flavors. In the first row, I have arranged four chocolate cupcakes and four vanilla cupcakes. So, the total number of cupcakes in the first row are four plus four, which gives eight. In the row below, there are four strawberry cupcakes and four lemon cupcakes. Again, four plus four gives me eight cupcakes in the second row. Arranging the cupcakes in groups of four makes it easier for me to count them. Now, just by looking at the counter, I can know how many cupcakes of different flavors I have sold. I don't have to actually count the remaining cupcakes. That makes my work simple. Just by grouping and counting, I know that there are 16 cupcakes. Okay, Mr. Teddy, I get it. Is this why you have arranged all the juice cartons in a line? Yes, but I have arranged the cartons by grouping them according to their flavors. In the last row, there are five cartons of grape juice, five cartons of apple juice and five cartons of orange juice. So, in total, there are 15 cartons of juices. In this way, I keep count of all the things in my restaurant. Did you understand, Amber? Yes, Mr. Teddy. Thanks for explaining grouping and counting. Now I must leave. Max will be waiting for me. Can you please give me two chocolate and two strawberry cupcakes and two cartons of orange juice? Sure, Amber. This is for you and Max. Wow! These chocolates look so delicious. Thanks, Mr. Teddy. And they are arranged just like the delicacies in your restaurant. Amber, why don't you count the number of chocolates by grouping them? Okay, Mr. Teddy. There are two chocolate flowers or one pair of chocolate flowers. Also, there are two chocolate bunnies or one pair of chocolate bunnies and two chocolate fishes or one pair of chocolate fishes. So, there are three pairs of chocolates and each pair has two chocolates. So, the total becomes three plus three which is six chocolates. You are right, Amber. Have a great evening. Bye. Bye-bye. That was a great dinner. Thanks, Max. You are welcome, Amber. What do we do now? Let's play some game. Hey, Mom got me a new game. It has some coins and cards with numbers on them. I'll show you how to play. 
Sure, let's play. See, Amber, the game is very simple. I'll take these coins and you take the cards. The coins have the numbers written in figures and the cards have the numbers in words. Now, I shall place the coins in the given circles on the chart one by one and you have to place the card with the number in words beside the coin. Or I will place a card in the rectangle and you will place the same number coin beside it. I have understood Max. Let's start the game. You can begin first. Okay, here's your first number. Now place the correct card beside it, Amber. The number is 23. Correct. Now you place a card and I will give the answer. Now guess this number. The number is 71. Now it's my turn. The number is 55. Now match the correct figure, Max. This is number 8. Now let me find some tough number for you. Now place the correct card. Hey, <laughs> that's simple. The number is 91. Hey Max, Mr. Teddy has sent some chocolates. Why don't we have them first and then continue with the game? Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. I have learned so many new things today. Let's have a quick recap. Objects can be arranged in groups to make counting easier. The total number of objects can be found by analyzing the arrangement and counting in groups. Numbers can be written in figures like 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Numbers can be written in words like O-N-E-1, T-W-O-2, T-H-R-E-E-3 and so on.